Hi there, welcome to Microsoft Engine Training Series number 14. Thank you for joining today. And today we are going to cover on deploying Microsoft 365 applications, which is nothing but your Office 365 application with the help of Microsoft Intune or Endpoint Manager Admin Center or from the portal. And this is a lecture part of Microsoft Intune Training course which is available in my youtube channel in case if you are visiting for the first time please do check out the description of this video for other lectures as well as the a complete uh, playlist which consists of entire microsoft intune training series and if you are also visiting for the first time please do subscribe and like and comment that really helps me to make more videos on other topics too and let's jump into the current agenda of the training Within this uh, lecture, we're going to deploy Microsoft 365 apps, which are nothing but your Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, or Visio, whatever the applications that are available as a cloud-based applications that all can be deployed or directly on remote end-use machines with the help of Microsoft Intune. So, with the Intune, as we discussed in the lecture number 12, if I'm correct, uh, where we talked about different type of applications deployment right in this lecture we are going to work with the readymadely available application that we are going to use to deploy it like office 365 since it's a microsoft proprietary it's still available in a readymade format for you but not like autocad or any other application right that has to be done uh, from a, a packaging point of view but in this case it's readily available for you and you're going to use that you might have a questions like how can I deploy Office 365 or which other Office applications can be deployed using Intune uh, where I don't want to do any kind of, kind of packaging stuff but I wanted to deploy it. If you have such kind of questions, uh, this is a lecture which is going to clear to you. So let's uh, move to the demo part. Let's go to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center and navigate to Applications and go to Applications with respect to Windows. As I said earlier, if you are beginner, you could learn by, by going to the platform and by platform windows. Within the last few sessions, we are focused on windows and in the future, we are going to move to iOS and Android specific. But for now, let's sell it by platform called Windows and at a later point, I would go to add. This is where I'm going to add and the type of the application, I'm going to choose this term as Office 365 specific application which is nothing but a Microsoft 365 apps so when I choose this this is coming as a ready-made package application which is readily available for us so we don't need to worry about uh, creating a package all of that stuff so anyway you're gonna you know have a look on it how it's gonna uh, show you so let me select that as Windows 10 or later uh, including Windows 11 it's gonna work the same thing and this is a pre-fill information where it's going to ask about the suit information, description and catalog, all of that uh, information. So within this category, um, you would have the uh, productivity, meaning you can just categorize the application, how it's going to uh, represent in the reports. But the most important point would be the configuring app suit. So this is where it's going to ask us, hey, are you going to use the configuration designer? A designer is nothing but it's going to uh, give you an options where you can select here the list of application. In this case, a different was selected and any other additional application, let's say project or that's a Microsoft project or Visio, you could select it here and 32 bit, 64 bit specific and also servicing channels. So let's first uh, talk about the configuring setting for the format. So I'm going to choose a configuration designer. But in this case, if I choose as a uh, enterprise XML, meaning you have already customized um, with your package help and then you could use that. So I'm not going to use that in case if I have XML, I could have actually pasted here the entire XML content. But I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use a simple method, which is a configuration designer, which is going to show me here the list of applications I could be able to select based on a check boxes. So in this case, I, for example, if I don't want to access, I could feel free to uncheck that. And uh, similarly, 
uh, I don't want some kind of applications like a publisher in this case and access so those things are not gonna install if I don't check it so meaning whatever I have selected is gonna install perfectly on the end machine and opposed to that let's select the other applications maybe in my case uh, if I have a license for Visio or maybe a project I could easily select here with a simple checkbox but in my case I don't have so I'm not going to select it but just want to show you in case if you want to select it you could select by a simple checkbox that's how it's going to work so now other one would be the architecture definitely I would recommend to go for 64 bit that's the uh, best architecture uh, and update servicing channel which is not about the how fast you wanna up to date with the features and the security patches all of that stuff uh, within your package so in this case Microsoft 365 apps I would like to go for monthly or semi-annual so in my case I'm gonna choose semi-annual um, option so that uh, I'm okay for semi-annual enterprise channel to get the latest features and all of that stuff and uh, remaining things are very similar like you could remove older version if found and uh, version to install latest or specific build that is already tested uh, you could you know select by specifying and other one is uh, uh, do you like to you know activate this to a shared computers something new that you know if there's a computer that is used by multiple persons you could you know allow them to activate it and also accepting the terms and conditions uh, for licensing uh, on, a, uh, on behalf of end users you could you know choose directly to accept so all of that information it's going to ask you as a basic information once you've selected all of this stuff like even language customization language packs also can be selected here so that uh, region specific languages can be pushed easily uh, but in our case we are not selling anything instead we're just going with the default called next button and this is where you're going to choose the required group so in my case I have already a user group called Diplo apps demo uh, including paint and RDP and other applications I'm going to test on this specific AD group so where this AD group uh, the members who are part of this AD group uh, who also have the Office 365 license as well as the uh, Intune license so that they can log in to the device and enroll and later point also they can manage themselves the applications so in our case uh, I'm gonna select two of them one would be the definitely the all Intune users uh, because I wanted to deploy Office 365 for everyone as well as the other one would be the deploy uh, demo app specific just for this demo purpose so you could do the same thing and create so other options are quite simple and straightforward all at default so later point if you want to change anything you could come to uh, properties and you would you know manage from there to assign it but in case if it is already installed it's going to show up in this pie chart so in our case we are not going to do anything other than the properties modification for assignment so in our case we have uh, uh, deployed this as a required uh, deployment for two AD groups one would be the all engine users other one would be the deploy apps demo AD group so we did that this is my Windows 10 PC uh, which is a virtual machine in fact I just you know logged in here I would like to show you something here like in my app cpl which is nothing but my add and remove programs or programs or features I do not have here anything called office 365 at this point of time so since the user uh, who I logged in as a Peter he's already part of that AD group it's just showing there and uh, if you see here it just got installed I just you know paused and resumed uh, so that it can take you know some time to you know show you so now um, if you just go to the start button from here it's clearly showing that all these applications got installed after some time and I do not see any other applications other than the uh, checkboxes application that I have chosen in this case let's say if I try to open Outlook I should be able to see the Outlook features and I should be able to access the emails also so let me open Outlook once I click on Outlook I should be able to see here Outlook configuration it's going to search for my user account computer so since I've already logged in and the credentials are already available because this machine is part of Azure AD join now 
I should be able to automatically open my Outlook without any additional security uh, passwords or challenges. So once it is done, I should be able to see the emails that are available on this user account. So that's how it's going to work. I hope this entire session is useful for you. Hope you're going to share within this the Intune community that may help others also. Thank you for watching this. We'll catch you in another lecture.